It's time for another edition of the Linux Man Cave. Today, brought to you by the Linux Distro Community at www.linuxdistrocommunity.com. Make sure you go to the website, check out the forums, sign up, and become a member of the family. Uh, today, we are going to show you how to mount a home drive uh, in case uh, you've run out of hard drive space and you've gone out and purchased a new home drive and we're going to show you today how to throw it into your machine and access it. Uh, we are just finishing up our installation of Ubuntu 12.10 Alpha and uh, once the Grub bootloader gets installed it's going to want to reboot here and we'll go ahead and continue, finish the installation, start the reboot process. And at this point, we're just going to shut it down. Oops. Shut down quickly. Okay. So, you've gone to the store, you've purchased a new hard drive, or you've ordered one off of uh, Newegg or eBay or anywhere. Um, and you need to put it into your machine. I'll show you how to also do this in a virtual box. Um, so we're going to go to storage devices and we're going to add our new hard drive. And we'll create a new one. And this is going to be our new home drive. So we'll go ahead and name it home. And we'll just take the default 8 gig here. So now we have a home drive. And now we can go ahead and start up our brand new version of Ubuntu 12.10 Alpha. Their new version. Uh, of course, it's still on Alpha phase. There's not too much installed on it yet. Um, they will of course add more packages when they become available. Go ahead and log in. And the first thing that I do when I'm installing any desktop PC, I've got um, my OS drive which is a 60, uh, it's a 60 gig SSD and then I have a uh, terabyte drive that holds all of my documents, my videos, my pictures, and all of that stuff. So this is the fast way to do an install on a machine with uh, two drives or just adding another hard drive to the mix. Uh, but this is the way that I go through it every single time I install a new machine. Or a new OS, I should say, on my machine. The first thing I do is I open up Google and I type in new home drive Ubuntu and the very first link should be partitioning home and moving and this is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of what you need to do to set up a new hard drive on your machine so we're gonna go ahead and pull up a terminal as I like to do everything from the command line we're gonna go ahead and lock it to our launcher and we need to be root here, so we'll do a sudo. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a blk id, because we need the block IDs of our drives. And right now we only have SDA, so we do need to locate our new drive. And we can do that by typing fdisk-l. And we can see we now have an SDB, um, and it does not have any partition table on it. So we're going to fdisk it. fdisk space forward slash dev sdb and then I'm going to quickly fly through here and create a new partition by hitting n it's going to be primary number one and we'll just take the defaults all the way through and write the changes at the end with a w and then we need to make a file system on the partition that we created mkfs.ext4 and it's going to be dev sdb1 because it's the first partition that we created. And now we can do an uh, blk id. And we can see that we've got a uid for our brand new hard drive, which is sdb1. So, go ahead and close that, get it out of the way. 
We've done the first step. We found our UUID. Now we need to set up our FS tab. So we're going to make a copy of it really quick and we can just highlight, copy, and paste. Go back to our terminal, paste it in there. And the next line is to compare to make sure that we got a good copy of it. And this would show an error if we actually got an error there, but we didn't. So now we're going to edit our FS tab. And we're going to create a new media slash home folder. So new home drive UUID equals, and then we'll go back to our terminal where we got the UUID and we'll copy that. It's got a little sticky there. We'll paste it in there and we'll call it slash media slash home tab. It's an ext4 file system. We're going to do no dev comma no su id no su id and then zero and then they recommend two and that's for the uh, FS check for the file system checks. So now we can save this and exit out. Okay, back to our prompt. And we scroll down a little bit further. Now it says uh, we need to make a media home folder and then we're going to mount it by doing a mount a. So make directory slash media slash home and now mount dash a and now under media home we should have our there we go we, we're sitting uh, we can also look at the slack our types just type mount and you can actually see that dev sdb1 is now mounted on media home So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to synchronize our files between the two drives. We'll select copy here. And we'll paste. And now this is going to actually our sync between the two drive between the two physical drives of home and media home. So now we've got a Chris folder in there. And then we need to prepare the FS tab for the switch. So we've got to modify and remove where we put in that um, slash media slash home and just change it to slash home. So we'll modify the FS tab once again. We'll come down to this line and we will remove the slash media and just leave it as slash home. Then we will save our changes. Exit out of that. Now the very last step that we need to do is we need to move our current home folder to one called old underscore home. And then we have to create a brand new empty home folder. So we can take this line right here copy it, go back to our terminal, paste it in there, and voila, we should have a home and an old home folder. So if we go into old underscore home, it should show a Chris folder in there, and then our home folder is going to be blank until we get the drive mounted. So at this point, they want you to go ahead and reboot your machine. Make sure that you can log in. Once you do log in, then it will be safe to uh, delete the old home folder. But try to leave it there for a little while, just in case. And also remember, if uh, you are doing this on an existing system and you've got a lot of videos, um, movies, pictures, documents, stuff like that in your home folder, the command to synchronize between the two drives will take you a little while, so do take your time and plan accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and reboot it, and we will make sure that we can log in again, and once we do that, we will know we are successful. 
just waiting for it to deconfigure its network interface and reboot. Once again, the Linux Man Cave is brought to you by the Linux Distro Community. Make sure that you do stop by our website at www.linuxdistrocommunity.com. Um, if you're on IRC, you can come to the Freenode Network and join our IRC channel at Linux Distro Community. And we're successfully logged in. It must mean that we did create the correct folder. We should have a home folder with all of our stuff in it again. And we can even verify by looking at a mount statement to see that our home drive is now actually on dev sdb1. That's it for the Linux Man Cave. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure you do comment and subscribe.